Hello and welcome. I'm excited to share with you all Loki's first week. So this is Loki in the car after adopting him. Uh, we did have a bit of a ways to drive because I picked him up on the way back from a family reunion thing that was out of state. So we had a bit of a drive and his first day in his new home, he's very fascinated with his feet. Uh, I wondered if he understood that they belonged to him. But he was super cute playing with his little toe beans. And he loved playing with the pillows and hiding between the pillows on the bed. And he's only about eight and a half weeks when I got him. And this is his uh, toy ball that is one of those battery powered cat toys. And he does really like it. I think it works well. It does keep him very entertained, but the only annoying thing I'd say is you have to charge this ball every few days if you have it on quite a lot, which I did. So, yes, and he was so sweet. Um, looking and chewing on my fingers, I realized that's maybe not a good habit to start out with or to encourage um, redirecting his focus to toys is definitely what you should do, but I thought it was so cute letting him chew on my fingers. He's always practicing his pouncing. You can hear him purring. So cute. He literally just wants to play with anything and everything. He does not know what is a toy or what is not a toy. It's just Everything is a toy, including his own feet. I love how well you can hear him purring here. Um, I was concerned when I first got him that maybe he wouldn't be a purring cat because not all cats purr, FYI. I had a cat growing up that did not purr at all. He tried, but uh, it sounded like he was just wheezing or had like asthma or something. And he will still sleep on my lap like this when I'm working, which I love. It takes a while sometimes for him to settle down and actually fall asleep, but he would fall asleep pretty quickly when he was really little. Kind of like human babies, they'll wear themselves out and just pass out all of a sudden. And his fur used to be so soft. It's still really soft, but um, that kitten fur is definitely different, and I kind of miss it. And this is an interesting habit, strange habit, that he has where he acts like he needs to bury what are you doing? his food. You don't need to bury it, honey. It's not poop, it's food. Anything with a strong scent he thinks he has to bury. <laughs> so I have not looked it up yet, but I do suspect it's something to do with hiding their scent. They instinctually know that they should hide um, their smell. That's why they bury their poop, right? It's to hide their scent from other animals. So I, I just think maybe the food smells so strong, maybe that's what he thinks he needs to do is bury it, but not confirmed. I haven't looked that up yet. But if you know what that's all about, please go ahead and leave a comment below. Poor little guy, he had such a hard time climbing up onto the bed after having his nails trimmed. I do trim his claws very regularly, almost once a week, at least once every two weeks. And I was thinking about doing a YouTube video on how to trim cat's claws if you are on your own and don't have help from another person. So if that sounds like a good idea, stay tuned. Maybe I'll do that. 
This first week with Loki was so important to me. We had really precious bonding time do do? together. Um, working from home made that possible. I was able to spend a lot of time with him and very grateful for that. We have really grown a strong connection. So um, if you're interested in following our channel, we're going to be posting lots of cute stuff and um, information, helpful information about cats and kittens. Um, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, feel free to subscribe and you can also follow us on Instagram. And yeah. It. He's just such a little love bug. See you guys in the next video. <laughs>